First, that grim news from Iraq. All Indian nurses in Tikrit are now in the custody of ISIS militants and have been moved to another location. The foreign ministry says they are safe and officials are trying to keep in touch with them. Amrita Tipati with our top story. The anxiety over Indians caught in the conflict zone in Iraq grows by the day. With a confirmation that 46 nurses had been moved, reportedly by the militant group ISIS or the Islamic State, from the hospital they were holed up at. And now they are going to Mosul. Uh, that's what we cannot tell now. Most of the terrorists will be moved to now. That is from before also. Now they are, they are telling they will not kill by any, anybody, but they may be later for the Mosul. Yeah, there is 14 nurses, plus 5, uh, 5 other nurses also. At present, uh, they are all safe. We want to bring back to India. Right. That, that is our main concern. The MEA confirming this news said it was in touch with the nurses who remain unharmed. Uh, our embassy is continuing to be in touch with those Indian nurses uh, even as they are moving to another location. The MEA is not confirming where these nurses are being taken against their will as they said but reports suggest they are being taken to Mosul in the north and that's an, a distance of about 225 odd kilometers. We've seen ISIS or the Islamic State uh, take Mosul, take Tikrit but it's facing a fight back when it comes to Tikrit, the Iraqi government forces, and I just spoke to the UNICEF uh, Iraq representative who said the Iraqi government forces have not been successful. The government says all avenues of communication are open and that they have remained in touch with the 46 nurses. But that is little consolation for the families. Many parents voiced helplessness and anger against the Indian embassy and the Indian government. They feel that if the Indian government had acted swiftly, their children would have been safe. They say that all that the Indian embassy tells is that the nurses are safe. But for how long are they safe? They are not even aware of their whereabouts at the moment, where these nurses are being taken to. To make matters worse, they are not able to communicate with their children right now. And that's not the only pressure block. With families of the 39 Indians abducted in Mosul also still concerned, they're not free. With Neetu Regokumar in Tiruvanantapuram in New Delhi, Amrita Tripathi.